Hey everybody, uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a rules breakdown here. Um, and basically, um, what I've already done is I've kind of laid out a couple things for figuring out what the uh, maximum number of points for autonomous is. Uh, in FTC games, autonomous is always very, very important. And so, what we want to do is we really want to try to maximize our points. So when you're trying to figure out uh, what to build, and, and also what we're trying to figure out is what to prototype, we're going to do that based on um, the, uh, the scoring, right? So we're all out there to get as many points as we can. So in autonomous, there's a couple different things you can do. You can reposition your uh, your foundation, and that's worth 10 points if you move the foundation from the center to the thing. Um, if you move a sky stone, which is one of the stones with one of the vision stickers on it, and you move that one underneath your your 14 inch bridge all the way, uh, that's worth uh, t 10 points if it's one of the first two stones. So the first two stones that you do are go through there, that's 20 points. That's a huge amount of points in this game. So vision, very important, but I know there's been some really great work for uh, Vuforia and for uh, TensorFlow that's built into the new SDK and those are going to make it uh, really, it's still a challenge, but it's a one that's really accessible for you. Um, next, uh, just moving stones that are not sky stones. Uh, those are worth two points apiece. So if you already moved the sky stones, you've got six, uh, you have four more of these left. So you have eight points there total. Um, placing stones. So if you take your stones and move them all the way over to your foundation, um, whether your foundation has moved or not, um, every stone that's on your foundation is going to be worth points. In autonomous, the placements are worth four points each. So that is also a huge amount. So, so it's a huge challenge, but there are some really big points here on Autonomous if you can kind of do that. So what you want to do is you want to do that. So since you have a, a total of uh, six that you can do and they're four points each, you can get up to 24 points for doing that. Um, and then lastly, uh, there's, a, uh, there's a, a, a navigating bonus or parking. And basically there's a tape line that goes across the field if you can end autonomous touching that tape line or straddling that tape line, uh, you'll get an additional five points. So when you add all of that up, what you'll see is the maximum points that you can get in autonomous are 72 points. If you can get anywhere close to that, you're going to be in pretty darn good shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on trying to maximize those points. So from the way you see this, we see that repositioning is worth 10 points and it's a reasonably simple task, you think because pushing the foundation is actually feels pretty easily. So we're going to try to figure out what it takes to, to, to do that. Maybe something that grips onto it. it is like a trailer hitch. I know Mac was talking about borrowing uh, the technology off the Ford F-150's trailer alignment. But we're going to go and grip onto this and slide it around. Um, and then we're also going to, we're not going to touch on vision today, but whether you're talking about vision or you're talking about a regular stone, Figuring out a way to pick them up from this line and move them efficiently is a huge thing. So we're going to look at different intakes that we can pick up very specifically when they're from sitting from this position. So this is going to drive some of our decisions because we think being able to pick up or, or intake in from that position is going to be really important. And then lastly, placing stones. Now placing stones are you know, you have to get up this two inch lip on top of the foundation. So that already means that you pretty much have to pick them up. So for this day's prototype, we may just look at if we pick them up somehow or we lift them, maybe we try to build a little elevator. Um, we're just gonna kind of touch on a couple different ways to lift them up because if you can lift them up, you can put them down, right? I pick things up, I put them down. And then uh, last one, parking, uh, it's kind of assumed that uh, if you can drive and you can do the rest of these things, you'll be able to get those points. So um, that's what we're going to focus on first. So uh, we're going to go uh, work on that now, and uh, we'll come back and check in.